what's up y'all it's your boy once again back at the honey toad uh, show you what we got i went ahead and bit the bullet well not necessarily bit the bullet but went ahead and pulled the trigger man uh so i did come up here in person and the price that I got in person was definitely different than what I got on the phone. Like half, it was closer to what the other place said. So yeah, but yeah, let me just unbox this right quick for content. Uh, they said I can install it myself, but it has to be married to the bike. So it's not like, It's not like it's just gonna take over or anything like that. So, comes with instructions. That's good to know. So, ah. So, if you'll need additional parts, if you have stuff at the sidecar, which it doesn't. So, remove the original. Remove the original equipment, turn signal module or body control module, follow the instructions in the service manual. Install the B, the bank angle sensor on sidecar vehicles. Don't have, install the new security module. From this kit, following the instructions in the service manual, configure the trike, blah, blah, blah. Uh, install the hands-free security module antenna and antenna mount if necessary using the service main instructions. Uh, see a Harley dealer to activate the key fob to this BCM. Uh, you can activate the TSS M fob of referring to the procedure in the electrical diagnostic manual. Ooh, you know, we do have that. So, we're going to go read about that. But yeah, pretty straightforward, I believe. So, you got one, the security system, the fob, the antenna module, and some cable straps. Oh, I guess depending depends on, like, what what kit you have whatever so this kit is the one for f or four one zero zero eight seven golf so it's the antenna module the smart security system key fob and the body control module so basically it's a bcm an antenna and key fobs and they can program in a, I believe you said five digit number or whatever. So we'll see what happens there. But yeah, it should be pretty straightforward on the installation. Like, we might be going and do this shit tonight. <laughs> going and do this shit tonight. <laughs> Yeah, that plugs in for the antenna. I got your two key fobs. So I think he said these key fobs, like, I guess if you just need a replacement key fob, them have like $80 a piece. So that's $160 of the shit right there. And then the antenna. And then the actual, actual BCM itself. So basically, you just switch in the BCM. Much. Switching the BCM to this one that has security on it. So, yeah. So, that should be fun. Good times. We'll uh, get that done and then depend upon when I can get back out here to get it flash. We'll do the flashing part. If it ain't nothing we can do ourselves. Knowledge is power and shit. But <laughs> knowledge is power, but sometimes you need the right techn technical piece. 
So, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> That's the last, last purchase for a while for this bike. Back onto my car shit. All right, so we recording this in just regular ass definition. No cinematic. Cause last time I did that, it was like it didn't want to export. And I lost part of the video. So I went ahead and spared y'all the me taking off the saddlebag and the side cover for it. It says for siren equipped bikes that you want to turn the key on. When I looked at the service manual, then it says you're going to pull the main fuse. So I'm going to do that just in case. I'm not 100% sure that it has to be done with this bike, but. Let me see. I think it said put it in accessory mode. Uh, but the only way to actuate, only way to actuate it is going to the, to the dealership. So, so we're gonna put our two fobs together. And pretty much them bitches can just go in the saddlebag because they don't need to be nowhere else. The antenna is going to get plugged in. And then we have the BCM, which is really very, very, very simple. Like, once you see how simple this is, you're going to be like, really, nigga? Cause that's what I just said. I was like, really nigga? So let me look back at the manual thing, see what it said. All right, so we back. So it says only with the siren equipped bikes. I'm not gonna worry about it since my bike don't have no siren or security or none of that shit. So, but yeah, this is all it is right here. But it does say pull the fuse either way. So pull in the main fuse. This is the retaining clip or whatever for the BCM. And then that should just slide out like that. This is definitely easier with two hands. Or a tripod, hold on. But you see it. Lift this up, put it out. All right, so we got this one off. As you can see, it is simply the exact same thing. One says BCM security X axis. One says BCM base X, BCM base X axis. So. If I can't put this shit on eBay and get some money for it, it's gotta be worth something. <laughs> All right, installation is the reverse of removal. All right, <clears throat> so then the next step, which I forgot to show y'all because I was just in the groove. And I'm, I mean, it may be videos out here on how to install it, but I'm gonna give it to y'all real raw and cut right here. So, pop off my Advan black seat here. All right. So there's a plug that's up here in the front. I believe it's connected right there. And that's where this goes. This right here. So this will then slide 
right onto, or should slide right onto there. I know there's also a bracket that you can use, but I don't think we need a bracket. I think we can figure it out, don't you? Cause we got these other little modules and stuff up in here, so it, I won't lie to you, it kind of gets a little tight. Just a little bit. So we gotta make boom, boom, make room, room to my. So yeah, boom, that snaps on there like that. And everything else can kind of go around it or have you feel the need to tuck everything back off in there like so or whatever how you decide to do it i think that's going to do it for us as long as that is on there and as long as where we go to put the seat on it ain't no confusion we good to go all right so on the bottom of the seat of course you got that little part right there you can go right there all right boom just like that seat back on put our bmc motorcycle company security thing on here and we are good to go baby so that's where the antenna go the BCM go to the side and we good to go from there. Now the only thing we gotta do is put the side cover, well, put the fuse back in. Oh shit. Put the fuse back in. Um, turn the bike on. Make sure that big on do what it's supposed to do. Well, let's let me first put the cover on because at this point the installation is complete. The only thing, the only thing additional you would need to do would be whatever they got to do to flash it. And so, as long as this runs the way it's supposed to, the only thing I'm gonna do tonight, I'm gonna do one more tune. Uh, one more auto tune on this and then i'm gonna take that take that power vision off and then we'll take it to the dealership here and my very next available uh situation and then we'll get it done get it done you know what i mean all right let me get this back together and then we'll crank it up hope it crank it up all right <laughs> so here goes nothing That was kind of weird, right? Because why is that... <laughs> why is that able to key on when that shit is clearly in the off? Must be something with the new system or something. I don't know. I didn't used to do that shit before. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> I know y'all seen that before, right? But felt like it was cutting on when it was in the off position. Okay. That was weird. But I got the video to prove it. Oh, 
got a video to prove this. So. Who's crazy now? We're gonna go back and watch that other footage because <laughs> I know I ain't tripping. All right, here we go. I think they lied. <laughs> okay, that bitch is definitely dead. Definitely dead in the water. Fuck. <laughs> and I ain't telling that motherfucker wasn't gonna start. All off the BCM this year. <sighs> we'll be back after these Modelo messages. All right, so I figured this would be a good chance to show you how to get your codes if your bike is throwing any. So you're gonna hold down this button here. Turn the key on as you continue to hold it. Once it comes up, diag, you can let it go. Once you hit diag, it's gonna say ECM has codes, yes. BCM also has codes, yes. And speedo, no. Radio, no. So the code for the ECM, if you go ahead and hold it, just press it in and hold it. So it's P1009. All right, so that code prompted something for a password rewind for the ECM <sighs> or something, man. I don't know. But now the bike won't start. <laughs> oh, shit. Should have just took that motherfucker to the dealership. Now, if I can get it to start. So if it doesn't start with this, I'm gonna go back and put the other BCM in there. And then I'll just take that shit to the dealership and hope that that shit starts. If that does not make the motherfucker start, then shit, we dead in the water, gentlemen. But <clears throat> from what the guys at the dealership told me, it was like it shouldn't, it shouldn't activate or nothing like that because it has to be flashed or married to the bike or whatever so it should have been as easy as replacing it than just taking it to the the dealership but now here we are looking at this sad ass screen I think it said wait like 10 minutes for that light to go out or something but I don't think that light gonna go out. I think we did in the water. Fuck. Can't go learn today. <laughs> so sometimes you just gotta be smarter than the equipment. <clears throat> so even though it did throw that code, <clears throat> I was, as I was trying to figure this bullshit out, I was like, hmm. What if I just come over here, 
What if I just come over here to the dyno jet? <laughs> go to the vehicle tools. View the store DTCs. The code was there. So what I did, I was like, clear the code. Exit. <laughs> turn the bike off. Turn it back on. And now, ta-da. And it starts, and it's like normal. Cause I was like, there is no way in hell that just changing the security shit should have this motherfucker like that. So, we got it figured out. <laughs> we in these streets again. out here in the streets. She sound good, y'all. But I was like, yeah, I was like, bro, it ain't no fucking way. And that shit should be that goddamn complicated. Like, for real. So, Like I said, we're gonna take the bike for a little run, fucking tune a little bit, and then take the power vision off, and then, well, after we write the tune, take the power vision off, and then take that bit to the dealership uh, for them to marry, marry the shit together, whatever that means. So, in conclusion to this video, we are gonna write that tune to the bike. All right, yeah, check out the stickers on the helmet. Progressive, LS Chevy Rider, Chevy, Box Chevy World. There's more car stickers on the helmet than it is bike stickers. Yeah, good to go. Turn the bike off, wait 10 seconds before you turn it back on. Uh, but it should be good to go. We'll crank it up. Everything on the good, the up and up. We'll pull the, uh, Pull what you call off of there. Pull the power vision off of there. Take it to the dealership. Next chance we get, and get that security thing taken care of. But yeah, baby, security on the way.